Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and I get this question a lot. I get the question of why do I use braided line to a fluorocarbon leader? So we're gonna go over that today. My history with braided line um, isn't very good. When it first came out, what it was, it's spider wire way back in the day. Couldn't hold a knot worth a darn. Uh, you had to super glue everything. It was just really, really bad. Um, and then um, I just kind of gave it up for a while. Well, after a little while, I uh, decided to try it again. It got a little bit better. Got Power Pro and all this other stuff. All the other braids started coming out. Well, so I tried once I tried a, a, a braided line to a fluorocarbon leader with a Carolina rig and I tied an Alberto knot. And the problem was it was only good for a few casts that knot wore out because it was going through the guides and it would just break. And uh, so I gave it up again. Well, since I found the FG knot and I'm going to Pitch this dang, dang knot till I die because since I found the FG knot, I've gotten confidence in fluorocarbon line to a uh, or braided line to a fluorocarbon leader because that knot completely protects that fluorocarbon, protect uh, keeps it from getting beat up as it's going through the guides, and it really is an outstanding superior knot when you're tying a leader onto your braid. So what I'm thinking about doing is completely going to braid with most of my setups. The only ones I don't want to go to braid with are going to be my cranking setups because I want to get maximum depth in braid floats. So I don't want a floating line. So I'm going to go, I'm going to stay fluorocarbon line with my cranking setup. But uh, other advantages of having uh, braid as a main line, especially with spinning rods, is you don't get the line twist as bad. It, the line does twist up, but it doesn't show up as quickly as it does with, say, a fluorocarbon monofilament copolymer line. So it's really, really trouble-free when you're throwing, you know, throwing stuff on finesse or throwing finesse stuff on a on uh, on a spinning reel. Now. With a spinning reel, anything finesse, I'm gonna go 10 to 15 pound test um, uh, braid to a eight, 10, you know, six, eight, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. For my Carolina rig, I'm gonna have 30 pound braid to a, you know, 15, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then with, uh, with my heavier stuff, like my, my pitching and flipping stuff, stuff I'm throwing into heavy cover, I don't need the invisibility of a fluorocarbon leader. So I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use straight braid. All right, now, if you're a kayak fisherman and this I learned from Chad Hoover, and it totally makes sense to me. You know, when you set a hook in a kayak, your kayak has some give to it. Well, if you're using line that has give and a rod that has give and a kayak that has give, that's a whole lot you're giving to that fish to get off. So for kayak fishing especially, I'm going to go complete braid to a fluorocarbon leader. I'm going to reduce as much stretch in that line as I can. I might even go to a stiffer rod for certain techniques. But the biggest thing is, is go all floor, all, did I say fluorocarbon? Anyway, go all braided line for your rods when you're kayak fishing and you'll get more positive hook sets. That, that hook will penetrate a whole lot better because you're eliminating at least some of the give that you're giving to that, that fish. So kayak fishermen, think about it. Now, uh, you know, some people ask, well, why do you want to use a, a leader? Well, fluorocarbon is, is essentially invisible under the water. Um, the heavier the fluorocarbon, the less, you know, the less invisible it is. So, um, so if I'm fishing clear water, but I still want the sensitivity of braid, I'm, I'm going to throw, uh, I'm going to throw a fluorocarbon leader on there. I'm a, and I'm going to throw a light fluorocarbon leader on there, especially when it's clearer water. Another advantage of using braid is your sensitivity. You can take a hundred dollar rod, put braid on the reel, and you can have the sensitivity of a $500 rod. It really does end up saving you money. It lasts longer. I, I'll use braided line for two, three years on a spool. Um, you know, as it fades out, I, I color it and everything else. I like to use yellow uh, braid on my, on my reels, but a lot of people aren't buying it now. So a lot of companies are no longer making yellow braids. I'm probably going to have to go back to a green eventually. But uh, it, there's just so many advantages that in, in the long run will save you a lot of money. Braid is expensive, but if, uh, if you use it for a long period of time, it pays for itself. I've got some other trip, 
tips and techniques and things that I use to save money with line. I'm going to do those in a different video. But the biggest thing is, is use braid, use it for a long time, use it for your sensitivity, and use a fluorocarbon leader, a five to eight to 10 feet long, um, and a FG knot, and you'll save a lot of money and you'll be able to use the better quality line. So awesome. The FG knot changed the way I fish, I promise you. Like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go ahead and catch some fish. Have a great day. See ya. Whew, I'm going to get out of here before the thunderstorm hits.